G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19, we we're back into the Darkness Falls Overhaul mod coming into day 41, it is the day before the next Blood Moon Horde that is going to be rather ravenously trying to tear me limb from limb in not too much time at all. I'm actually really nervous about this horde, but given like, you know, we've been traipsing around and adventuring and going through POIs, there is the morning chime. In fact, I'm kind of hungry at the moment as well. I might just like stuff my face full of gubs while I'm chatting about stuff. But uh, given that we were going through POIs of the day and we came across some demons and some all, all sorts of nightmares, I feel like whatever comes for me tomorrow night in the horde is going to be so much worse than anything else that I've really come up against so far. The Sham Chowder only gives me 20 health. It's not, uh, 20 food rather. It's not really as good as I was hoping it would be. Or could we slurp down some pure mineral water as well? So yeah, I do need to go do some upgrades to the Horde base today if I stand any chance of actually making it through. One, two, three, four, five. Once I've got a fish alive. There we go. Put all you guys into there and stack these guys away. Uh, but before I get too carried away with faffing about and building stuff, I do need to make a quick mention. You can probably see on my rifle at the moment, I now have the proper Zawoodle Purple Dive. For the first like 12 hours of the mod coming out it did have the wrong color code now a message came about and i was like dude are you trying to punk me i feel like you're pulling my leg making woodle purple like more magenta than anything he's like nah mate just the dot the dot i downloaded was broken you get so go and fix that and i'll fix it in the mod so now we have the actual purple mod in it so it's so freaking cool. It's so bloody freaking cool that I have my own color in this game now. Anyway, me gushing about that aside, I do need to go and uh, look after my animals first and foremost to get some more materials. There's lots of work to be done on the horde base. Where is my auger? My good auger. Did I leave it in? Wait, what? That's, no, oh, there it is there. It's all kind of all over the place. That's fine. Grab you, grab some gas, because there's some reinforced concrete I need to dig out right quick smart. It's not even 5 a.m. yet. We're starting very bloody early. Oh, that was a big bit of lag. Did this like spawn in a bunch of zombies or what? Normally a lag spike that big does mean that it spawned in a whole host of nightmares. Um, Is there anyone hiding out in the mini golf course? There's a... Who are you? And what was that sound? Oh, it's one of the new... That's right, there's the new sound effects now. I need to get used to those. I mean, it, did I... Do you want to go on a mini golf date? I'll go on a mini golf date with you. I mean, that's fine. You've clearly already shown up here waiting for me. Oh, I spawned a bunch of... Oh, sorry. That's right. I'll protect you. I'll protect you. We need to clean the course before we can play. It's all right, love. You take one side, I'll take the other. We'll be able to knock around some balls in no time. Oh, my balls in that case. No, damn it. Oh, my God. Demonic lab technician. Oh, well. Wow. Okay, so there's demons spawning in, like, regular POIs as well. I thought it was just going to be, uh, like, in the Wayne's Manor because it's, like, a top-tier POI. Please die. Please die. And please give me some loot, actually. Oh. What the heck? Oh, boy. Okay. I, uh, I regret going on a date. I regret asking that girl to go mini golf with me. It's all taken a turn very much for the worse. So there's just demons everywhere now? Oh, and there's another one. Oh, for Christ's sake. Nance, I just... No, you stop that. You do not vault on me. I don't care what kebabs you may have had last night. You will hold that shit down and not vault on me floor. Keep your gods to yourself. I don't want anything to do with it. Where'd my date go? I went through all of that to clear the course and she's pissed off. Rude. Bloody fucking rude. Power armor helmet. And power armor boots. But how do I power you? Like, you're better again, which is all, like, sorts of fun, but I, 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 don't, I don't understand what you are. Chels, catch you later, please. Okay. So it turns out finding demons actually getting loot out of them is the tits. What are you, though? So you're a lower level than my current SWAT helmet, but you're better on everything else. Do I, can I, like, read about you? Power armor is the best you can possibly craft. Well, don't mind if I do, lads. Don't fucking mind if I do. Oh, grants amazing physical uh, uh, protection, physical damage, and immunity to most radiation repaired with energy cells. Okay, well, I'll slap you on me forehead. Uh, you're going to be the same thing, so I'll cover me toes with you as well. Lads, get the shit out of my old mods and uh, put you on the new ones. That's a good bloody start to the day, lads. So the power armor does make me look like a snuffleupagus, but that's all right. I'll put the cat mod into you so you'll look all nice again. You could be dyed brown just because, sure, why not? There you go. Still looking slick and suave. Bang that shit in there as well. Nice, nice, nice. All right. 
cool freaking bananas. Uh, I do need to find out where that girl went, though. I was trying my best to try and protect her. She was the one finding the demons to start with. No, that was stripper titties. That's a date from a long time ago. And it was the one I plan on revisiting too fondly. Did she just, did she get murdered with the rest of them? I know I shouldn't be like running through here given the, the state of the place that was two seconds ago with all of the fiery nightmares. But let's just quickly put you down, Loza. Thank you for the loot drop. Although now that no demons give me good shit, suddenly rad loot drops is far less exciting. I assume my date got turned into one of these goopy piles here. It's either that or she ran away with another survivor. And well, the second one of those options is just unbearable to me. So I'm going to pretend it's not even a thing. I'll probably go around here and clean up all the group out here as well. That's right. That's for another time. First and foremost though, Josh, you need to get your old auger out. What kind of mods are you rolling at the moment? You've got a bunch of good ones. I don't think you have any more mod slots in you. So this one here needs to go. Oh my God, it's so loud. Why is it in this game so goddamn loud? Including me. You know, like, I thought I was the loudest puppet to ever, like, sink their teeth in the seven days to die. But I feel like the fun people took that as a personal challenge. They're like, you know what, Woodle? You're not that loud. Watch me just fuck your eardrums with an auger instead. When I said fuck my eardrums with an auger, I didn't mean send some zombies my way to do it for you as well. Oh, this is, uh... All right, this might be a lot. Hang on, hang on. Everyone just put a nice orderly queue and I'll just fire indiscriminately into you guys. Pop noggins and put rounds through your chest. Ah, see, it's always a good time when you can just spray and pray. It's gonna do the same on this side as well. I'll make sure like I drop the decibels in editing for you guys so that you can, well, you know, you're not gonna get your eyes run out like I am right now. I'm just trying to think of what I'm gonna do with the, oh shit, with the top up here though. Oh, there's one last little straggler. But you know what? Here, come up here. Come on, I'm not wasting more ammo on you. There you go. Good job. Good swing. And back down the stairs. Oh, that's unfortunate. Dude, you should not be walking anymore. You let it screw on the back of your neck. You should definitely turn into a crawler by now. That's right. I admire your resilience and dedication to the cause. Oh, I saw you as well. Oh, there's lots of them coming in. God, I mean, some of the horde are so fast that you kill them that you kind of forget that there might be more. Oh, the new ScoMos. The new ScoMos in their new sweet outfits. Bud, I'm not the Hawaiian bee trying to give a shit about what kind of sweet tropical tank top you're wearing. Piss off, I've got better things to do right now. I'm trying to figure out what the dick I'm going to do about this base. So the thing that is actually worrying me most about this is I go around and just quickly clean up all the goop to, you know, you gotta have nice surroundings around. I'm not sure if it's like still the old thing that it used to be back in the day, like leaving rotting remains around your base just to call in screamers once upon a time. I don't know if that's still a thing now, but I don't really want to risk of it, run the risk of it either. Uh, I just, the thing I'm worried about is the top of that uh, corridor up there. So that's only too tall, which I've done deliberately so that you can put your hatch up and have a nice like secure area for you to fight the zombies off, but not allow them to get in. But if bigger and badder zombies like, you know, the mutated red, uh, red whites, that kind of stuff, like the real big boys are going to start showing up. They're not going to fit into a too wide gap. So I'm worried that they're parthing. Now, I don't know how deep the coding of Darkness Falls goes with this. So if they're too tall to fit in there, are they going to stop trying to parth into there? Are they going to know in their super duper structural engineer zombie brains that they can't fit and just go and find a different route, which would mean they're probably going to break down the whole thing? Or are they still going to try and parth like a normal zombie, but they're just the physical hitbox will prevent them from getting through there? That's what I don't know. That's kind of like the gray area, the question mark that's making me a little bit unsettled. Uh, it's running right here, not that one. I'll grab you guys. Got my nail gun on me already. Got some iron doors, which I do intend on using. I think I might need to really consider fixing up this last bit over here as well. I wasn't really intent on doing it right now, but if things are going to kick off the way that I think they're going to kick off now, I need to have this secondary area up and about and ready to go. Because if I have to fall back there to save my life, I'm going to want that to be as spick and span as possible. I don't have any rebar frames in here, so I might have to go back home. But I have just realized that... So I've got this 20% thing down here. Total resistance you currently have. 20% resistance. Is that like 10 per item? I don't... No? Because it did say the power armor. It did say the power armor would give me uh, immunity to most radiation. Yeah? So, okay, that's fine. So just the boots... Okay, so together, oh, there we go, up to 40 now. I don't know why I was only saying 20 a second ago, but all right, so I got 40% radiation protection. That's really going to save me, actually, because I was trying to scrap down all of the hazmat gear to make the radiation suit mods, but if I already have 40% coverage now, then I shouldn't need to make three of the rad suit mods, yeah? 
Is that how that works? Or am I just completely making shit up and talking out of my clacker? It's probably the latter of those. All right, let's quickly duck back home. We'll grab ourselves a rebar frames. I, the, I, what I am worried about now, though, is that given the demons seem to be spawning around all the bloody place. But you know what? Before I leave now, when I go back to get rid of my frames, before I forget to, I'm going to craft a shitload of um, blessed metal mods. Because if I'm finding demons all the time, every single one of my guns need to have anti-demonic stuff. They've got the anti-rad. They're going to need anti-demon as well. The game has kicked up a notch. I feel like in the last like, couple of days. So I need to... Ew, gross. So I need to be on top of that change. Get rid of you. Run inside. I need to be prepared for whatever's going to get thrown at me. So the blessed metal mod needs 15 generic schematics. Steel, glue, mechanical parts, springs. All right, that's fine. Steel, uh, glue. Glue, 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 glue. I had glue. There it is. Mechanical parts and springs. Springs and mechanical parts. There we go. Uh, I also need a, I got a whole bunch of you. I've got 800, geez, almost 900 skill notes as well. Probably worthwhile me making myself a mastery book at some points. Um, what did I want to check though? How many blessed metal balls do I actually need? Does the basal bat need one? I can't imagine so. Although I do rely on like, well, my melee pretty substantially on horde knights. But I don't know if demon zombies can actually be knocked down. Can they? No, I definitely shot Nance in the face a second ago and she got ragdolled. Okay, so I need one. Got one there. Got one there. Wow, I thought you were going to do more. Oh, that's, that's my pig. Actually, I got really confused there for a second. I probably need one there. So like two, I suppose. If I've got four blessed metal mods, I can put that into everything. Maybe I need to take a moment and just run over to the workbench over here and actually take some time. Well, before I do anything, actually, let's go blessed. I know I need like an extra two of those. So you can go like that. That's going to take like three minutes. But in those three minutes, I'm going to spend my time just like scrolling through here and seeing what's actually going to be worthwhile for me because I... I definitely feel like I can do better here. I definitely feel like there's some mods out there I just don't know about that are going to do me wonders fighting this new wave of awful zombies. There's not actually that much that's really getting me excited. I feel like most of the newer ones I've kind of gone through and looked at before. So nothing's really jumping out at me. So what I might do, uh, I will make myself just like the, uh, the tactical rigging. I can't make the advanced one yet because I haven't done the mastery stuff yet, which I know I could do right now but i haven't gone and double checked what mastery wrecked will, will sell me so i need to make sure because knowing my luck i'll make a mastery book into the one thing that wrecked would have given me otherwise and i just don't want to i don't want to hate myself that much today you know i'm not sure i can handle that much self-depreciation uh self-deprecation even good job josh uh, i just i just want to feel good about myself for a change and stumbling my way into ruining and wasting all my resources probably isn't the way to do that so let's go rigging tactical rigging Leather, duct tape, military fiber. Military fiber, uh, duct tape, and leather. That was all the stuff, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Let's go quickly punch out one of those. Just on the other end of that. Uh, rigging. I'm sure, like, that might leave like, a couple of spots left over. That's all right. I can remake it, like, down the track. What do you actually need? It's all the same shit again, so I'm not really losing anything by just covering my bases early on. What else can I do in here? What else is exciting me? What's my situation actually on electrical parts? Do I have any of those that's over? I know I did crop and stuff a bunch of uh, coal gun stuff lately, but if I have some more electrical parts, I wouldn't mind making some more. Lead and polymers. I just can't. There they are there. Okay, nice. So I don't have anything left in like my dump chest. I have nothing in you and nothing in you. Nice. All right, let's quickly go make myself as, as many batches as I can. I feel like now more than ever, it's definitely going to be important for me. It's almost 3,000. Take you guys out of there. That should be enough room. Uh, I'm definitely going to need to rely on that core rifle. I have a bunch of mods scattered around that I can put into it. Oh, that, that buddy bore moaning about in the background is always making me panic. But I have enough mods, I think... I'm not even wearing my proper armor uh, to make my core rifle as good as possible, but I just want to make sure that I have the ammo for it because if shit kicks off and I'm just hosing with that thing, if I run out of ammo, I'm going to die. There's no real ifs, ands, or buts about that. Oh, that's not the pig. That is a zombie. That's all right. Let's quickly head up into the tower. I've got my new and improved rifle that I'm more than happy to distribute some death with. Up and out. Oh! <gasps> Oh, it's not. I thought it was Samson the Cannibal Cow. It's someone else. Uh, there you are. I see you. I see you. Wait for it. There we go. Straight through. Oh, it's so satisfying. It's so quiet and so deadly, and I like it so much. Okay, well, are you going to drop any babies? No. Oh, damn it. See, 
All I want now is to like undo the mess that both the boar and Samson have done. They, well, I guess the boar didn't really eat his friends, but it definitely didn't spawn in another pig, which is kind of upsetting. But I feel like you guys need some company down there, company that I can't provide. I don't really want you to ask me either. It's just, it's not really where our uh, level of relationship is at right now. I was going to take uh, some Sammies with me to go and plonk them over there as well, but I feel like I need to... All the Sammies do is kind of delay, like, how fast I can kill the zombies. So I've got them, like, punting zombies off the top down into the spikes down below. I'm not actually going to be able to kill the zombies fast enough. So, A, I'm not going to get enough loot through it. And, B, I'll have a constant stream of zombies and not actually get... I won't get to the end of the horde, but I won't actually get the reward for the horde either. So, I might leave the Sammies at home... I will take the wire relays in case I need them. I'll take a wire tool. Um, okay. <laughs> so many. There's so many new sounds in this game now. Every time I hear something different, I panic. But I don't think I need to as such. Right. You. No. You. There we go. You need to go on my titties. Boom. Like that. Well, you do give me quite a bit. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so even now, if I do get cucumbered, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to get cucumbered by nine, which I don't think is enough to actually slow me down. So it's not really that much of a hindrance. Uh, I've got a bunch of gubs on me. I've got my blessed metal. You've already got one. You can have one instead of you, I suppose. You want to make sure my... Oh, wait, what? Is it the... Okay. Okay, so I can't have the dragon's breath in there as well as the blessed metal. That's all right. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Modify you just instead of... I shouldn't have chlamydia mod then? Yep. No. Okay. That's fine. That's fine and dandy. I don't want too much. This seems like a, a worthwhile change. Pull up back at the base. Get the clubbacks. I'm pretty sure. Look at it. It's it's not quite purple. It's like a weird shape. in the shadow looks kind of nice. <laughs> Still works pretty well, though. I just kind of have the sinking feeling as well. I'm going to have to clear out the bloody sushi place again. And I hate doing that every bloody week, but I'm going to have to do that now. And it's going to be full of nightmares and awful things and probably a bunch of spiders as well. That's really not going to go well for me. But here's... Ooh. Mm, do I need to get rid of the bottom one as well? So the plan is, if I go like this and I get... Which one do I want, actually? I think the ramp... Let's go on face and stick you up to the top like that. And then... See, that's too big of a hole. That's too big of a bloody hole. What if I go like this one and stick you uh, up so the point is near me like that? So if I got rid of... I think I need to get rid of this block regardless, which is a shame. But it should never be able to see down the bottom... I probably should get rid of these blocks as well so I can see from a little bit further back. If I'm standing back here, um, that should stop the cops from having a crack at me and trying to goz in my face. That's not so bad, I think. It's just risky, you know? Like, I'm taking down important parts of my construction, and if I don't build it back up right, then, I mean, there's nothing stronger than a solid block, and I'm getting rid of that for visibility's sake. I really wish they would bring in a block that's like two wedge tips together. So, like, this one and another one on the other side, like that. So, you kind of had... I can kind of show you, actually. Let's go like this. Let's grab you. Let's go copy rotation and copy the shape and just stick you, like, on this side. So if I had... Imagine that block moved across underneath this one. So there's, like, this nice little slot through the middle. Kind of like an arrow slot, but instead of having inverted triangles like that, just, like, flipped over like that to make a nice kind of, like, trapezium or a, a parallelogram. I think that's the, that's the name of the shape. My geometry wasn't as good uh, as I wished it might have been once upon a time. But if that was, like, a nice block, that'd make a really easy way and a nice way to make a good shoot down to the bottom. But instead, I don't have that option. So if we can get rid of this block and replace this with, like, just a regular wedge, so there will be a nice line of visibility all the way down the bottom. I'll show you what I mean. Get rid of you. Now I need that shape. Copy shape with that rotation. Copy rotation and just slot you in there. Just like that, you see? So if I have that, that should keep me relatively safe from... I mean, it's still a risk. It's still not great, but it's something at least. Then when I do get like a bear or a big fuzzy ball sack blocking up the zombie's path, I can come down here, hose down there from the safety of inside my corridor... It's still going to take some, like, juking and gesturing around to stop getting, like, vomited on, but that should work out pretty well. I'll do that for this one here, uh, too, but as far as the game's concerned as well, that's a solid pillar, which makes me feel a whole lot better about it. Just make sure we put the last of this on. Copy... Oh, that copy rotation actually does it for me. In you go, and then copy... Sh nope. I wanted to go... Oh, because now I've upgraded doesn't count as actually being a rebar frame anymore. That's right, so grab you, but I do want to copy your rotation, though. 
In you go, and then just bonk and bonk. Nice, 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 nice. I suppose I could also use this as a steel spice slot, uh, like what I've had in like the ex well, not the extinction base. It was, it was someone else who designed it onto the extinction base, but like my base in Eclipse, where I could like throw some grenades down. That probably wouldn't be a bad shout. So you can kind of see now exactly how that's going to work. I don't want to go any further back because at that point, if I'm like that far back into the corridor, A, I'm going to need some cover. I need someone to run back to to be in death laid. But I, um, I also think if I'm getting back down to there, what's happening at the bottom down here, if they're getting slowed down by bears, that's actually a good thing for me at that point. That might give me some breathing space. So I don't need to build that chute any further back down. What I do need to do though is continue to get out the old loud as fuck auger and continue digging away. Just make enough little murder windows here, enough little murder slots so I feel better about my chances tonight. Because after coming across those demons at the mini golf course on my sweet date with whoever that was who then got eaten rather ferociously, I um, I want to make sure I have everything going for me tomorrow night. Do the last couple here, bonk and bonk and bonk and bonk. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. If I had, what I oh, see, what I kind of want to do is build like a shoot out the back here because at the moment if i'm standing in here right i'm standing in here having a lovely time being all nice and protected the only spot where i can kind of get hit right now is from out that way so like really if a cop shows up or actually those demons spit fire as well don't they like explosive fire bolts Ooh. do they do damage to blocks i don't know or they just like splash damage i like i like, like frock at rags but out of a zombie's mouth because if they're going to show up over there and they take the chance to spit at me, like with a cult vomit, I can duck back here, it'll hit the roof and like, yeah, it does a bit of damage, but it's not really the worst thing in the world. But if they're firing just like vomit TNTs, okay, I think I might need to do that. I want to build like a shoot. Oh, they broke one of my spikes as well. Those cheeky fucks. So I'm like a shoot on the back here so I can still bonk some zombies. No, not bonk zombies off. That's a entirely different expression. I can still smack some zombies in the face and send them down to the spiky pit down below, but it will block off a lot of the visibility at the back there because if the cop can't see you or i'm hoping the demon doesn't see you then they won't stop and vomit at you so that's kind of the hope and the dream i've no idea it's completely unfounded or not but uh, i might do that later actually because i still have a plan in mind for back here which is probably more important and more pressing i can figure out the other side later on so this is going to be where the magic happens i hope at the very least uh i can't make i can't make poles one of the I said before how annoying it is to me that like only some materials can make some shape. So even if you're upgrading stuff, sometimes it doesn't work. But also I can't just make myself a reinforced. Did you guys see that? I saw that. There was like black smoke rising from towards the lighthouse. Like a pillar of black smoke. And I don't know why. I have to go investigate that in a second, but I can't make a reinforced pole just like straight out of the rebar frame. So we'll have to go with the old school method of having to go through this way. Uh, let's get you. Let's just go on face and just stick you there for the moment. Just nope, just so I can see exactly how it's going to actually play out for me. Get rid of you. That should be fine. You can probably see kind of where the idea is going already, but I'll flesh it out a little bit more because I want to get you and slightly... So in Eclipse, I had like the the explosive pit underneath. Yes, yeah? so they ran across me. I punched them in the face. They fell down. I threw grenades or rockets or whatever, and they all exploded, which was great. So I'm going to implement that kind of concept into something a little bit more aggressive, I suppose. All I need to do is figure out which way you're going to actually open. Or if you're going to work for me at all. Oh, God. I don't want to place this thing down wrong either. Because if this thing drops to the ground and breaks, and I can't get it back again. And then I'll be really, really frustrated. Grab you. Let's just put, like, for now. Let's go this one. And let's just kind of put an extra layer along like that. Just have, like, some footing there, just in case. Okay, so if I go like this... I can't see how you open right now. I'm trying to remember all of like my testing back in the day because the important part is this line of dots here. It's like half an inch closer to one side. Like the moment, uh, at the moment, it's half an inch closer to the other side of the block. So I think it might open that way rather than back towards me. Let's just test that though. Let's go you to that one. You on. All right, that's the completely wrong way. Uh-oh. Do I need to put a land claim block to you, down here to pick it back up again? Maybe? Yes, I do. Shit! 
I suppose this isn't especially the worst thing in the world because it means I can put the land claim block down that should hopefully... Oh, I'm hearing things. Should hopefully cover up the um the sushi place as well. So you're gonna let me see. That's gonna cover almost all of it there. So like just right here, I suppose. Let's dig a little divot. There's a little divot next to the concrete so no zombies get caught in this thing and start breaking it down. There we go. I do still have the bed back at the lighthouse. I'm not sure if the um if the coverage area on that is gonna be enough to keep all the zombies out of it forever. Just gonna have to bloody hope so, aren't we? Sneak back under here and pick up you. There we go. Nice. All right, let's try this again. So now we know. So that one's opening up and away from me. So if I go, oh no. I thought these had advanced rotation. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think my entire plan has been rendered moot. Oh, shit. Well, that's definitely thrown a spanner in my work. So I was hoping to get some advanced rotation so I could flip it like up and around. So it would initially be, if like it was off, the walls would be up like that, yeah? Like they'd be up on the sides. But if I turned it on, they'd scoop down underneath. They'd come down and like form like a U shape. But then you know, actually end up being kind of flat along the walkway here. So I could activate that and have a usable platform, which the zombies would still use. A, I'm pretty sure they piled over the doors anyway. But B, because I have these slots here, just I was like double proofing my pathing ideas. But if I can't flip those doors upside down, that... That fucks me up a little bit. Cause I can't even I can't even hold R on it to get the different rotation options like I would with anything else. Like if I go to my wood frames, I go like this, hold R, advanced rotation, go to my doors, hold R, no whammies. Oh, that sucks. That sucks a big old cock, that one does, in all the worst ways, by using all of its teeth and none of its lips. Fuck! Well, that has actually like properly fucked me. Um let's go here. Let's just make like a bit of a safe room at the back here to move my uh, electrical stuff into so I don't have any unfortunate accidents given the explosive gauze that's going to be coming for before long. Let's put on your um, XP goals there, Chief. Get some extra XP out of it. It's too late now anyway. The game stage is already too much. There's no use holding back. Take all of you guys out. Thank you. Uh, you're pretty low on gas already, aren't you? You don't have a whole lot. So let's take all you out of there and let's pick you up and just move everything back behind the concrete wall if it comes to it and i'm standing here and fighting for my life like as like the last kind of alamo bit here then so be it you know but the last thing i need is for my aa turrets my anti-vulture turrets to stop working for me so let's get rid of you um you and you please let's stick you up like on there and on there that'll do nicely or oh, the wire is going to go directly across but Oh, well, whatever. Desperate times, desperate measures. We can't focus too much on that. Let's just ignore the ugly as fuck bloody uh, wires that work in this world. It's probably wise of me, actually. Now I've got like kind of that all up and going again. It's probably not a bad shout for me to actually go and have a squeeze through the sushi joint. Oh, that's already dried out. That happened pretty bloody quickly. To have a cheeky squeeze through here and make sure that the zombies haven't respawned. I should be doing that today and not tomorrow. It would be very dark for me to do it tomorrow because you never know what's going to happen. Make sure you're... Oh, yeah, there you go. So that's why I wanted to do it. Let's find... I heard something. That's all right. I heard the gap in... The, uh, I need to find the gap in the glass, which is right there. Put you down nice and quietly. Let's just sneak on through here like the old murder days of old. God, this rifle is so good. I worry, though. I worry that I've discovered how good this Winchester rifle is a little bit too late. And, like, the game's going to be sending zombies at me now that can't be Winchesterified. So, that concerns me a little bit. Oh, <laughs> That does concern me a little bit, though. The demons may be burning and scary, but the Winchester's still got the measure of everyone else in this fucking game. Oh, it's just a time. It's just a time. But it's fine. Don't get up for me. I'm just like everybody else. I'm trying to be sneaky and stealthy in this place. So I don't trust it as far as I can throw it. It's a goddamn building, and I have the upper arm strength of a newt, so probably not very far at all. Doesn't look like there's much else uh, hiding out in here, though. They will be on the roof. That's where all the bad zombies are going to be as well. Good day, bud. Goodbye, bud. Pistol's all you need for those random Jeffries. Let's put all my loot and goggles back on. Run through here so anyone else who isn't here will wake up. No one did. And grab nothing. All right, fine. Fine. If that's the way you want to do it, that's the way you're going to do it. Let's get up onto the roof and see what's cracking up there. I do have the shotgun ready just in case there is or when there is a bunch of demons. No one? 
I mean, that's fine. I feel like half the half the POI still spawn zombies, and the other half didn't. I'm not sure what the guy the the um the clarifier, what the not the clarifier. I'm not sure what the point was, the margin for where it will or won't spawn a zombie, but it didn't spawn all of them, which is good for me. Need to go home and remake some spikes. Uh, also, no, I have some iron over here, don't I? We'll do the repairs to that one as well. Maybe I need to. Oh, actually. See, I. I don't trust blade traps. In the past, when I've tried to use blade traps, they've died in the first hour of a horde, and I've never gotten to work beyond that. But I see other people go around and use blade traps all bloody night, and they do a wonderful job for them. So I don't know if I'm just an idiot. Well, I do know if I'm an idiot. I definitely am. But I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong, or if I'm placing them wrong or something. But I feel like down below down there is like the prime location for a blade trap of five. But I don't know how to put them down there where they're not just going to get destroyed straight away. I'm not sure what... Oh, I'm not sure how. Oh, threshold's what I was looking for before. That's the one. Glad that came to me five minutes later. I just realized annoyingly I do have the steel on me, which means I did accidentally... You go in there, please. Just get the shit out of my inventory. Accidentally upgraded that one to steel. Although, actually, maybe it's not a bad idea. I'm not sure how much damage these things are doing. Is it more worthwhile for me to upgrade some of the blocks up there to steal than the bloody uh, spikes down the bottom? In fact, I'm going to do that. Got my XP goggles on. Yes, I do. All like the front facing facade. Just like when you're like, you know, you're renovating a skyscraper or something and the council's like, oi, dickhead, you can't just tear down an ancient building because you know what? Culture is actually kind of important. Just like in Basting Say. So probably actually protect it just a little bit. You can build your skyscraper with the facade of the old building. I might upgrade the facade out here just to be steel so that, like, I'm just trying to prevent the worst things from happening, you know? I don't want this part to break. If I break this part, they can like trap through the rest of this place and tear it apart like tissue paper. If I keep the front part of it strong, I might stand a better chance. It's getting kind of late and I've done <laughs> some of what I wanted to do to the horde base, only a half of it really. I did open up those windows on the sides. I'm glad that I did that. It will come in handy, I think. I'm annoyed that I couldn't go and put my uh, automatic doors the way that I wanted them to be. That is actually kind of frustrating, I'm not going to lie. I suppose I still could kind of do it. I still could make it work by going the same kind of way that I did it for Eclipse by putting the doors down below those wedge tips. Oh, that's very close to me. Watch your fire, please. Or at least give me a shout before you start putting bullets through my face. So I probably could still do it by having to go up and over like that and meet up in the middle just like I did in the Eclipse space. But I was trying to avoid doing that because I've done it before. G'day, Chief. How you doing? Here we go. Bundle of skill notes. Yes, please. Nothing else in here is really exciting. I already have a better baseball bat than that, but, you know, I'm not going to betray that and go with a new one. I'll take that one and just sell it back to you. Here we go. Um, Where'd it go? Where did it bloody go? There it is. There it is. Nice. Okay, got some skill notes as well. You. I think you actually just refreshed yesterday, didn't you? Day 40? Did I come here yesterday? I'm pretty sure I did, so I might have already gone through. Didn't sell you anything back then, though. Let's just take a moment to quickly have a gander through and see what's going on. I only have, like, $1,500 readers on me, so not much. But you do have a lot of generic schematics. Ooh, what else do you have there, Chief? I'm I'm an open book. I just want to make an open book. Just teach me what you got. It doesn't have especially much, but that's okay. Nothing else really in there. Ooh, military fibers. Just double-checking everything on the way through. In fact, do you have... Do you have electrical parts? You do. I'll take all of those, or as many as I can afford... Can't buy them. I might have to come back tomorrow, actually. Don't Let's let go. The door hit you. you on your no, way. just talk to him. Uh, do you have any jobs? Tier 1 fetch. Okay, Absolutely. Now I know that I just need to do a bunch of jobs for you and not really do anything else. I can take the easiest and breeziest of jobs that you got for me and not really worry about going and raiding the big scary buildings. Loot's great and all, but if you're going to be spawning demons every, every four feet, I kind of, like, the expenditure of ammo I'm going to have to put into that to kill them is going to be more than I'm going to get back out of it. So I'm less keen to go and do that. Up to the northeast. Is using a T1 fetch. Oh, I could. I could do it. I could do it right now. There's a cow. Never mind. Never bloody mind. Oi, Moo Moo, do you have any kids and can I steal them? Well, if you had any kids, I'd have to be rolling around with them because you got the dongus of a homongus. Here we go. Oh, you're... Beef dog, you're not a regular cow. Oh, man. I understand why you were called beef dog and stuff because you got the nads of a lifted truck. All right, well, that's fine. God, gave me so much meat as well. So is a beef dog different to a cow? Or a bull or something? Like, 
I faced a lot of cows over the trip and I shot a lot of them in the face. None of them have come after me like that. That was a whole different kettle of cow. Let's not get too cavalier. Oh God, hang on, where's my bed? Is my bed still out there? It is, look, there it is there, shit. That means I removed the land claim block from the lighthouse. Oh, which means it's gonna be full of zombies again, isn't it? Oh, fuck me dead. Fuck me dead with a kangaroo's tail. Please be empty. Please be empty. I really need you to have no one inside. Mm, I know there's like, apparently there's a setting that uh, I can turn on multiple land claim blocks, but I'm just playing on like the vanilla settings just to kind of explore and uh, experience, Jesus Christ, experience uh, Darkness Falls as it was meant to be. That all looks fine. Let's quickly go upstairs and put down the bedroll again to make sure no one spawns overnight. If I hear the sound of a zombie waking up, I'm going to shit myself. I'm just like flat out, poo everywhere. Grab you, put you back down to here, and just put your smack bang in the middle again. Please give me enough, enough protection to keep me safe up here. Oh, I'm scared. So I'm level 107 at this point, and there's one thing that's still kind of like tickling me in the back of the head, because I have 11 skill points right now, which means I could both make a book, a mastery book, and I could also make uh, or spend 10 skill points. I could go two levels of mastery right bloody now. But what I'm concerned about is this. Oh, that came in very subtly. I wasn't expecting that at all. 75, 100. Okay, so I only got level, like, two levels there anyway. Okay. You know what? I think it's time... I start, I start by, started, come on Josh, figure it out. Having a master the English language for a change. I think it's time that I started investing into mastery classes. What are you gonna give me? Unlocks titanium block recipes, titanium tool recipes, increases crafting tier by 10 for tools. Well, I don't have any titanium resources. I don't think that's gonna really work out for me right now. What mechanic, what are you gonna give me? Uh, unlocks impact driver, oil pump, auto shotgun, Motorbike 4x4 and muscle car recipes. Increase the crafting tier by 10 for blunt weapons, shotguns, and red style tools. That's going to give me. I could make myself a better baseball bat, because I do love a better baseball bat. Make myself a better shotgun, which I'm feeling like I'm going to need very, very much tomorrow night. All right, so mechanic is in the lead right now. I can't go hunter. I could go farmer, though. No. No, farmer? Farmer. What's farmer going to give me? Learn how to craft growing lights, modify plant seeds for underground for underground farms. I mean, I have a whole yard. I don't really need that. Learn to craft grandpa's learning secrets, boost stats and attributes along with black strike coffee. Multiple other foods. Unlocks the SMG recipe. And unlocks... Okay, extra, extra 10 for SMGs and hoes. Okay, farmer's off. Labor up. Mechanic's still in the lead. What about scavenger? Scavenger was my OG. What are you going to give me? The desert vulture recipe. Is that going to be better than the P225? I do like the P225. Increases bonuses gained from the waste centers by 10%. Increases loot drop chances for all enemies by... Okay. At the moment, I'm thinking... I'm thinking mechanic and scavenger. Scavenger's a bit of a question mark, though. That's security. What are you going to give me? Advanced tactical rigging. Military armor. Titanium armor. Titanium spiked club. And M60. I don't know. Increases crafting tier by 10 for automatic weapons. Automatic weapons. I'd have to remake all my call guns, but I feel like that's kind of okay. What else is in here? Survivalist. Oh, I don't know. <gasps> Large backpack and M4. Survival torch, jerky, mega crush, radio. Okay, I feel like it's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be survivalist and mechanic. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm sorry. Oh, that hurt me a little bit. That hurt me a little bit to do. All right, we've done one. Let's go get the stuff to make the other mastery book for our mechanic. In fact, what are you going to tell me? Why didn't you tell me to make muscle cars? Look at you. I probably should have checked in here before, though. Oh, interesting. It's got a big scoop on it. None of these are purple, though, so it's not really getting me excited as much as I would have liked it to. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, nice. This should have potentially a way to upgrade from the mini bike. I am annoyingly one egg short from being able to make enough dye to get this done. So I'm heading out into the dark and scary places of the world to try and find a bird's nest somewhere. Which I don't especially like my chances of. I'm sure there's plenty of them on the screen right now. I just can't see them because I am blind. There we go. As a bat with its eyes gouged out. Or its sonar. Wait. I was blind of the bat with its ears cut off. There we go. <sighs> no eggs, just feathers. Wait, do I get feathers? Uh, do I get eggs rather for beating down birds? I thought it was only for raiding them. 
Yeah, now nah, it is. All right, that's fine. We'll find some more. There'll be some out here somewhere. I'm just going to be patient and just very unlike me for a moment. Let's check this one. I'm really just running around, damn it, running around in circles outside the house looking for any little brown spots on the ground that I can stick my face into. Here we go. Here's a coupler, untouched. No, come on, don't do this to me. I need one egg. One egg. Are you shitting me? After all this, <laughs> you've got to dangle, dangle my hopes and dreams in front of me and rip it away at the last moment. I just need one. One. One little good. There we go. One little goopy mess inside a crispy shell. Put you down. God, I love the Winchester. All right, let's sneak back inside before someone else realizes that we're here. You two, shut up. Don't lure in any attention, please. Oh, look at my garden. Look at my garden, though. It's great. Okay, so what do I actually need to do this? A mastery book requires a bunch of skill notes. That's fine. Ink, I've got that. Quills and the book itself, which also requires another quill. Two of those. Okay, that's perfect. I think it was anyway, wasn't it? Mastery. Do you only require one ink? You require four inks? Oh, there's so many more eggs. I need so many eggs. Shit. So I need four inks for that. And I need another two inks to make that. Mmm. That's annoying. That's annoying, annoying, annoying. God damn it. I'm unfortunately not rocking any black dye in any of my gubs either. Dyes. Got, oh, I've got an extra two. I might have enough. Okay, so I have three inks. That's going to give me one more. And that's going to give me another one more. So I need two more black dyes. Uh, what are the chances I had a couple kicking around? No, nothing there. That might have to be my mission for tomorrow then. However, which one did I go mastering into? I went Master Survivalist, didn't I? So you give me a bunch of stuff. Wait, rank... Oh, hang on. Am I just missing something? Here we go. Okay. Large backpack. I need to make one of those. I need to make myself some jerky if I can. Let's figure out what the hell that is. I can make myself a new M4, though I'm not really rolling any automatic stuff at the moment. And I've got like the coil uh, rifle, which I'm hoping should be better than the M4 to start with. Although having an M4 as a backup... Do you reckon the M4 is better than the M60? I mean, it's a mastery tier rifle, so it should probably be about the same. Um, okay. Okay, let's start with the large backpack. Backpack. What are you going to give me? Large backpack, leather, military fiber, and duct tape. No wackers, knackers. Military fiber and duct tape. I've got plenty of that all around. Let's get you crafted away. Was it in here? I think it was. Backpack. No. Tailoring bench. All right, that's fine. Got that one too. Here we go. Finally, after a very long time. Wait, hang on. We're finally getting our large backpack cracking. So the survivalist torch, this torch can be used as a light source or a weapon with a chance to catch anyone more fast. It's a regular torch, place second action, does not attract zombies. So is that just like... Okay. So it's just a torch that doesn't is increase your heat. That's a bit disappointing. That's, that's not quite as great as I was hoping it was going to be. M4, oh, tier 71. I have all that stuff already, I think, don't I? Where are you? I've got that sniper rifle stuff. And I've got 12 M4 receivers. Jesus fucking Christ. What am I raiding through Texas and everyone's rolling an AR-15 for some bloody reason? Uh, M60. Generic rifle stock, I think it was. Hang on. What do you actually need for it? Auto rifle stock. So it looks like those ones. All right. That's fine. You go back away, please. I should have all that stuff, shouldn't I? I'm sure I've picked up a lot of it along the trip. There we go. Auto rifle barrel. Uh, receiver, no, auto rifle parts, and auto rifle stock. Nice. In here, can I go M4? M4 automatic rifle, fucking clap that one out for me. Yes, please. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm excited to have it. Wait, I can make black dye out of all this other crap, can't I? Uh, black dye, black dye, blue, red, and yellow. Yeah, blue, red, and yellow. And I have a lot of other ones. I always keep it for a reason. Blue, red, yellow. So red's my limiting one. It's just one to one, isn't it? So I can make another three black dyes. Okay. I'm still short on eggs, but that can be managed tomorrow. I may as well get that one cracking now. I'm glad I remember like actually do that at all. Run back down back to the chemistry station. It's at 2 a.m. We need to wrap this shit up. Uh, die. Die, you make me... 
I don't know why I can't stack this stuff. I'm not sure why it's being difficult, but sure, whatever. You're going to need some more fuel. There you go. Just like get that cracking along for me. Let's go see what this large backpack and the M4 are going to do. Because even though I roll with the P225 and it served me well along the trip, it's a good backup to have. But I feel like a T71 M4 is going to be even better. So what are you doing? You're doing 12 per shot compared to 10 per shot. So you are better. And you've got all these other extra stats as well. So hopefully they're going to be just as good. I can steal some of the shit out of there and just smacking into that one. Because everybody knows that 9mm mods are definitely applicable to M4 platform stuff. Use you. Backpack on. Full inventory. Oh, we're laughing, lads. So I can actually put in almost everything that was in the handgun. Look at all the mod slots as well. Except for this one. That's the only one that I can't slide into there. So you can have that. And you can just go back away into there. So what have we got? And what more mods can I put into you, actually? I can't put you guys in. I know that for sure because you don't go with the blessed metal mod. But how do you look? How do you look? I hate the front sight on you. So I'm going to make myself a, um, a reflex sight, I think, because that just looks atrocious. Reflex sight mod. Steel, glue, electrical parts. I just used all of them. Need to go see Wrecked and buy some more. Damn it. So... Hang on, I'm confused. These are supposed to be the mods, aren't they? It's a stated armor piece mod tier 3. So I have to make... It's not just like an anti-rad mod. I have to make it for each individual part. Okay. I can probably do that. I've got enough to make... Oh, two of them. I've already got my helmet and my boots protecting me. So I really need the chest, the gloves, and the pants. And we're good to go. So I only need like another... What is it? It's... 12 per pop, so 12, 24, 36. I have enough. I don't have to do the whole lot, don't I? All right, that's going to have to happen tomorrow, though. So I need to make myself a reflex slot. Go see Trade Wrecked and buy some stuff. Make myself those radiation mods, because once I have those, then I can go to the wasteland, right? And I don't know much about the wasteland, but I do know that that's where all the good and also the really terrifying shit is. So that could, have, that could be happening as soon as next week. That's really fucking interesting. That's really starting to get exciting. Well, I have to get excited about that and then promptly die to the next Blood Moon Horde in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter if I don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.